Hey, good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Um, today is October 24th. Just got back from my local card show here in Wichita. Um, picked up some cards. Um, I've been focusing on main PC cards. Um, Got a little notebook here, just full of different players that I've been trying to collect. Sorry, my dog is whining in the background. Mama and sis went out clothes shopping this afternoon, so she's being whiny. Um, Anyways, let's get started. I spent, I had a budget. I pretty much used my budget. Uh, anyways, I'm going to show you the stacks of the different vendors I went to. I did not pay full sticker on any of these. Um, so we'll get started here. I've got this 1971 Steve Carlton. Got this. 69 Kirk Flood 68 This guy just had a box full of cards He had quarter each less marked uh, He did give me a little bit of a deal this one was written on obviously Because he got traded somebody wrote Phillies uh, this one's been taped. I know I have more of these in a binder. I just figured I'd go ahead and pick it up. Same way with this one. Sealy. Sorry, everybody. Try to pick up the better of the cards out of the pile. Like I said, they ain't the greatest shape of cards. This one I couldn't believe was in there, but I definitely paid a buck for that. And then this one, I did notice that somebody's had it folded out before it looks like. It's a little rough on the edge, but that's okay. I enjoy them. Here's the second dealer. Got this Topps Chrome Trout, 17. Starting to pick up more Albert Pujols cards since this is probably was his final year. Chrome Refractor. Um, this card here, it's a Yogi Berra. It's his last year playing card. It does have a crease down the center. Um, but I figured I'd get this. Who doesn't love Yogi? Another guy, he was from Tulsa. Well, I guess he's a big Cardinals fan, and he had tons of Cardinals cards. Luckily, this is just, it's a Tim McCarver. Picked up some Ted Simmons. And I did not pay full price. Uh, he had this in his case. Um, I told him, yeah, I'd take, I want that for sure. Um, it's harder and harder to get these at a decent price. It's not the greatest shape, obviously. Uh, it's been on my want list. I can't afford $250 or 
$400 for a beautiful card. To me, this is a beautiful card. Yeah, for as old as it is, I'll take it. Another guy, he was from Oklahoma City. He's there pretty much every show at this one. And I've been trying to pick up some Cardinals team cards from all the years. Um, he had a box of $5 cards. Picked up this one. Obviously somebody had a checklist filled out on the back. Picked up that one. This was a pretty rough Lou Brock. But for five bucks, you know. To me, I enjoy it. I don't ever plan on selling these cards. They're just going in my personal collection. Now, if I do find a better one, and it's a good price, and yes, I will pick it up just to have because this one's been pinned it's got a little pinhole that's kind of cool and then the last guy I visited it was on my way out I picked up these two cards for 20 bucks um, this one's obviously a little rough it's got some stains right here but it's still a beautiful card. And then of course I asked him what he had for this. Well, it bucks at two fifty, but I'll sell it to you for fifteen. And then he looked at it some more and kinda he goes, Well, it's got some writing on the back here and I said, Well, that don't bother me any. So he said, Well, give me ten dollars for it. I said, Okay. And I got this one for 10 as well. So that's why I spent 20 bucks at that guy. Anyways, that's what I picked up today. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Um, I'm going to go watch the Kansas City Chiefs get beat. Because I don't know what's going on with them right now. Um, anyways, that's that. I hope everybody has a good day. Stay well, have fun, keep on collecting, enjoy, and we'll see y'all later.